Hey everyone, Christopher Beast here, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a quick show off of the two main locations that have to do with Old Amsterdam. If you do not know, in the lore of Bomb Rush Cyberpunk, the city we play in is called New Amsterdam, and it's presumably built on top of an older city that lays underneath it called Old Amsterdam. There are two main locations that are connected with this old city. One is at the end of the maze in Pyramid Island, and if you need help with the maze, I have another video specifically on that topic. And the other is in a secret tunnel found in the bazaar in Versum Hill. I'll be covering both of these locations. So with no more delay, let's just get right into this. So let's start off with the one that I think more people know of, and this is the one that is at the end of the maze on Pyramid Island. Jumping into the pit room that I again showcased in my video on the Pyramid Island maze, you will see this long drop off before a singular building with a tree and some debris. There's lots of sand here, and it's just kind of a weird little place. It is presumed that this is part of Old Amsterdam, a sunken part of a city that we can only really see very small remnants of in modernity. Why this specific part was maintained is beyond me. It may have something to do with, we do see the scientist up at the top of the pit. We also see some strange netting going up. So maybe this place was excavated for some other reason. It could also have to do with the old head statement that don't assume everything in the maze is reality, especially since we see the maze break Euclidean rules. It could have something to do that this spot, which is very much a heritage spot, managed to survive the sinking of the old city simply due to the absurdities that occur on Pyramid Island. Hey, it could even be responsible for the absurdities. But this isn't really the main spot that most people are talking about when they talk about exploring old Amsterdam, and that spot is in Versum Hill. Heading to Versum Hill, you're going to want to go down to the bazaar. To get access to this area of the map, you're going to need 200 rep stars in Versum Hill and talk to the old head before being able to access this small area, which has a lot of rep in it. It's just kind of a cool little spot you can do some tricks on. It's pretty decent for building up score if you haven't already cleared all the score requirements for the achievements in Versum Hill. But what we're going to have to do is, you see that big old snake? You're going to have to climb up on this, which I am showing some difficulties in doing in the clip, and make it your way through a series of jumps to a secret little vent. I've seen a lot of guides in this regard, and all of them seem to vastly oversimplify how honestly difficult this is. It took me a while, so don't really be daunted if this takes you too long, because it can be quite difficult if you're like new to jumping off the sides of the map and you're not exactly like a top tier uh, bomb rush player yet so you're going to want to jump up onto these corners jump around on maintaining on this corners you have to stay at this height level if you fall down any lower might as well just jump off and you're just going to travel using these corners really around the side of the map until you find this grate break it open and then you're going to slide into this grate in order to get yourself into old amsterdam this area of Old Amsterdam is far larger, and it's actually in the code labeled as the catacombs. It's quite interesting that it is so. So this place is more like a maze uh, in itself, and less so than the Pyramid uh, Island maze, if you've already dealt with that one. This one's not as hard, but it does have a lot of winding corridors that you are going to have to keep track of, or else you can risk getting lost. I'm going to quickly just wet the gameplay and to showcase an entire tour of this place and really all of what it has to offer.
right here is the exit. Do not jump down here as I do so in this clip until you found one other pretty cool, pretty major secret that's kind of the whole point of this area. Because there isn't any wrap or any of that. So from right before the exit, if you follow the path I'm taking, you can head back over across the jump that you had to make earlier with the dash jump and should enter up back in the long hallway that led you up here in the first place. We just need to backtrack because I didn't hit it on the way there and it's nice to see the whole thing before seeing this place. So if you take a left, not yet, but here, you should see a small grate and should be able to slide under that grate. That's exactly what you're gonna need to do here in order to see this secret room. This secret room is where things get kind of weird. While most of old Amsterdam has thus far been explained by just, you know, the city sunk under mud and wa rising water levels and so those types of assorted things, this part is a little bizarre even for the standards of old Amsterdam. And it's simply a sarcophagus or tomb in the center of old Amsterdam. Investigating it in an object in Spore, it is simply called a tomb, Atlas tomb. Uh, it seems like Atlas is either a programming term or it could be something to refer to the item. I do want to offer a little bit of clarity of there are no triggers on this item from what I could tell that would activate it in any sort of way. There doesn't also seem to be any like random code in the area that could hint at a secret event. They could have something built that's just like really well hidden, but from what I can see, there's no way to activate anything with this tomb. It's just something that's cool. But this has been my video on Old Amsterdam and the secrets that it holds. I think Bomb Rush Cyberfunk is really interesting with lots of great post-game content, and I think the search for secrets isn't going to stop anytime soon. I think there's a lot of secrets in this game that just haven't all been found yet. And hopefully, they are found. But this has been Christopher Beast. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you all next time.